Welcome back. We have two very special guests with us in the studio today. Katie Lyle and her mom, Eileen Bolitan, appeared in our first Not My Child video almost two years ago to talk about addiction. Let's take a look at a clip from that video. I really just like getting high and I don't like myself when I'm sober. I don't know, I've tried to get clean so many times and I just go right back to it. And I'm completely up for getting clean when I'm high, but then when I get sober, I'm like, I can't do this and go and use. Eileen and Katie, welcome back to the show. We welcome you back to Week in Review in the studio. Thanks Thank for coming you. back. Yeah. So, Katie, um, do you remember filming that video? I know it's two years ago. D did you ever watch it? What went through your mind when you were watching that? Um, just that I was really nervous. And yeah. It was really weird seeing myself. It, it is, yeah. and we appreciate how brave you were to come in and talk about and, and give us your story. Yeah, because Kristen, when they when they showed up, we were taping videos throughout the day, um, interviews, and different people were coming in and out. And I remember that when they walked in, and I thought, her mom made her do this, and she is not going to talk <laughs> to us. And she did, and she was very candid and very honest. And I think, you know, you may not know this, but you know, since then that video has been played over and over and over oh, again. I know. <laughs> and, and, you know, it's probably helped a lot of people. Yeah, so, it's done you know, a lot of good. So, so thank, thank you. you. Yeah. Thank you for coming back. How would you say you're doing today, Katie? Um, I'm clean. I have been clean for about a year. That's and wonderful. I've been on methadone for about two years. What made you decide to make that decision? Um, honestly, just not being sick. Uh, just wanted to feel better. Taking away yeah. the withdrawal made it easier yeah. to, to... It definitely die. made it easier to like go back into regular life and try to be an adult for once. Because mm -hmm. I started when I was 16, so I didn't really get a chance to grow up. Well, tell us a bit about what you're doing. Um, any kinds of new, new little triumphs that you are undertaking right now? Um, I got my learners. Uh, I've been driving, I've been working, I've been looking for a job. Great. Yeah. Uh, me and my mom work at her business. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you two TV. seem really tight. Like, yeah. You seem like, you know, you've been through it together, and a lot of moms and daughters that have been through this might fracture apart, but it seems like you two are really, really tight with each other. Yeah, she's a... Uh, She's been a really big help with addiction. When it first started, she was a little confused, but she did a lot of research. And that definitely helped, having a mom so open and understanding. That's wonderful. So um, Eileen, tell us, um, in your, from your perspective, how things have changed in the last two years, or, or not changed. Um, well, Katie's uh, more open and coming up and talking with the family and more interactive, which has been wonderful. Um, you know, we all missed her when she was um, in the full using mode. Yeah. So it was sad. Yeah. So it's been a lot happier. Good. And what do you do? What do you do to stay sober? What are some things that you do? Do you go to meetings every day, or what do you do? Um, honestly, with methadone, it's a lot easier for me. Uh, a lot of people don't have it that easily. A lot of people can't do that, but methadone does help me stay clean. Uh, for the most part. If I'm really low, I'm just low. And if I don't do anything healthy with that, I, I'm gonna use. But if I handle it in a healthy way, methadone does really help. And it helps me have a chance to handle it in a healthy way, I guess. When, if I wasn't on it, I probably would just go straight to using. Well, Eileen, you mentioned that you feel like you've gotten your old Katie back. So I'm assuming with the holidays coming around that this year will be a little different for you guys. and Well, when I first found out she was using, it was um, two years ago, Christmas time. So that was a, a terrible Christmas for us. And then got her on methadone last year, what, October? Actually, it was three years ago. Okay, so it was three years ago when I found out. Okay, and then two years ago, I got her on the methadone. Um, so that Christmas was so so. So the last one and this one, uh, they're going to be good. The last one was good. Do you have a big family? or? Um, she has two other sisters, and mm -hmm. we have lots of um, relatives in the area. Are you the oldest? No, no. middle child. Middle child. Middle child, interesting. Okay. What does that mean? I don't know. I don't know either. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Christmas? 
Oh uh, yeah, I like great. presents a lot. <laughs> oh good, okay, okay, good. They're great. So, well, so tell us about, sorry, Kristen, no, um, tell us about like some goals that you have for yourself. Like what do you, what do, what do you want to do next? You've done so much. What do you want to do next? Um, I definitely want to get my uh, driver's license and a car and a real job where I don't have to work with my mom and move out eventually mm. and just start being an adult, I guess. If you had your pick, any car. What do you think you'd go for? A black Jeep Wrangler. See how quickly she answered that? She was ready. <laughs> she was that. ready. She was ready for that. I want a black Jeep Wrangler. Me too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Katie, it took a lot of bravery and courage for you to come here the first time. And we really appreciate you and your mom coming back a second time and sharing your story. It really does a lot of good. And I hope that you realize that. And we wish you the very best here on a continued path to becoming the best Katie. And keep fighting. Thank you. Yeah. Keep fighting. Get that black Jeep Wrangler. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Oh, yes. I will. Yes, you will. <laughs> and uh, we will be right back with more Week in Review right after this. Don't go anywhere.